This was once a beautiful lake. It is now filled with trash and pollution. It becomes a sad reminder of the consequences of our actions. Every day, people seem to forget the importance of keeping our environment clean and dispose of waste properly. Not only does this harm the natural beauty of our surroundings, but it also affects the wildlife that calls it home. But it's not too late to make a change. We could all do our part by properly disposing of waste. Let's work together to restore this lake and protect our environment for generations to come. Together, we can make a difference. Oh, hola, hola, and hello. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you are having a very good day today. My name is Atas Kareta Pjani, and I am from SMP Pribadi Building One School Depot in Indonesia. Today, I'm going to give you a presentation about my Mostratec 2023 project titled Solar Powered Aquatic Trash Bowl, or SPAT in short. Well, we all know that trash is one of the biggest problems in this planet, and it harms the ecosystem in many ways, especially plastic waste. Back in 2016, a group of researchers from Switzerland studied the chemicals that the plastic waste produces. The results were concerning. They found that the plastic waste contained dangerous chemicals like lead, mercury, and cadmium. These chemicals are very dangerous for their surrounding ecosystem and can damage them for good. To address the problem as stated before, our target for this project is 1. To realize the idea of the solar powered boats that are useful for moving trash on the lake surface and is environmentally friendly. 2. To test the idea of the trash transport boats and offer ideas that could be used on a larger scale. And 3. To determine how well the boat performs when transporting trash. The design thinking method is used throughout the development of the SPAT project. Design thinking is a iterative and non-linear process that contains five phases. Emphasize, define, ideate, prototype, and test. This method was developed by Herbert A. Simon in 1969. The research is done in the month of January through September 2023. This research is conducted at the Pribadi Bilima School in Depok, the researcher's home, and Lake Shilodong in Indonesia. As part of the research method, in the advertising phase, the researchers saw many problems within the process of collecting trash in lakes. The researchers saw the, the lack of aquatic trash collection equipment and the ineffectiveness of existing cleaning practices. Therefore, in the defining phase, there is a need to solve the problems that were found in the advertising phase. The researchers aim to make the spot load easy to use and replicate, have a low operational cost, and to help reduce effort to collect trash. To fulfill the defined needs, the researchers aim to make some key features in the aviation phase. The spot boat is able to be remotely controlled and replicated easily, is eco-friendly, and is powered by a sustainable source. The idea is that the device will help reduce manpower and improve the coverage of trash collection. The researcher developed the concept of a solar charging circuit and implemented it into the project. The concept is that the solar panel produces electrical energy that will be controlled by the solar charge controller or SCC which will be converted into an AC electrical flow that will charge the battery for the control box. The researcher also made the circuit of the control box. The idea is that the LiPo battery powers the ESC which will be controlled by the help of the receiver. The ESC will control the dynamo and the servo motors to the connected remote control. This will allow the boat to turn 360 degrees and move forwards. This is the front, top, back, side view of the spot boat. The last part of the research is the most important one, the testing phase. We are testing four parts, navigation, buoyancy, electrical, and trash collecting ability. On the navigation test, we tested the boat's speed, longest range of connection between the boat and the remote control, and the boat's maneuverability. On the buoyancy test, we tested the ship on its total weight and its ability to stay afloat without sinking and leaking. On the electrical test, we measured and tested the operational cost, the ability of the electrical power system to supply an uninterrupted power to the ship, and the battery life when there is no solar energy available. On the trash collecting test, the researcher tested its maximum capacity, volume, and trash variation that can be collected. These are the tools and materials that are used to build the SPAT project.
The results of the project is as follows. For the navigation test, it was proven that spot boat can be controlled within 150 meters of range, can move at a speed of 1.2 km per hour, and can rotate 360 degrees. At the buoyancy test, the boat is measured to have a weight of 11 kg. Surprisingly, the boat can still stay afloat and is well protected from water leakage. In the electrical system test, it is calculated that the operational cost is very low. It has a 5-hour battery-only life and can be 100% power sustainable with solar panel in sunlight. The trash collection system has proven to be able to collect 1 kg of trash before it needs to be collected. Trash that has a maximum height of 17cm and a maximum width of 30cm can be collected. The total volume of the net is 153cm3. So, in conclusion, the spot boat is proven to be an excellent waste collection device. It can reach not only the leg's edge, but also its center. It can collect 1 kg of rubbish at a speed of 1.2 km per hour on average. The boat has also been shown to work with a solar panel, making it an eco-friendly device. When powered by a solar charging circuit, it can run for an infinite amount of time. The boat can float with a weight of 11 kg and has a battery life of 5 hours without charging. The boat is efficient in its term of electrical system, navigation, and trash collection abilities. The operational cost is also very small and can be free if connected with a circuit. The next version of the boat can be improved with a larger waste storage capacity and an automation like conveyor belt, as well as the usage of an Arduino board to control the boat and GPS to pinpoint the patrol route and navigate the boat's chosen path. Thank you very much for your time and I will see you on my next research.